everyone, I'm Kelly Zenkowicz. I'm the Communications and Digital Engagement Manager at Yellowstone to Yukon Conservation Initiative. So since the pandemic, I've been starting on what they call a Couch to 5K program, which means that I'm walking and running a little bit more each day so that I can eventually run 5K, which for me is a big deal. There's a couple things that I've learned as I've started to run more and spend more time outdoors. Um, and the first is that if you're living in bear country, it's really on you, the responsibility to be bear aware. And so one of the ways that I encourage you to become bear aware is to learn how to use bear spray and keep it handy um, no matter what kind of recreating you're doing. If you're running like me or you're biking, even just hiking or going for a walk after dinner, uh, keep that bear spray accessible and know how to use it in case you have to and you come upon a bear. Uh, there's all sorts of great devices, belts, harnesses, that kind of thing available uh, that really keep the, uh, the bear spray secure but also accessible. And number two is that you can see right now I'm wearing headphones. I'm actually about to take them off because I'm heading down this path and I've seen quite a bit of bear scat down here recently um, and I just want to be aware and let the bears and other wildlife know that I'm coming. So what I'm going to do is take my headphones off so I can hear what's going on around me and then I'm going to make some noise. So I'm going to be yelling, hey bear, um, and clapping pretty loudly as I go down the path to let wildlife who hey might bear. be feeding, especially bears right now, we're heading into peak berry season. And those bears are gonna spend up to 20 hours a day feeding. Their heads are gonna be down. They might be taken surprise, especially if someone's running or on a bike, if you come up on them quickly. So I'm just gonna get going, take these headphones off, really enjoying my podcast, um, but I'm gonna do it for the bears.